So, I'm back from the game against Millwall, and I'm happy. Why? Because we got three points. The first win of the season, and I'm absolutely delighted. Today's video, I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on Luton winning 1-0 away from home against Millwall. But before I do, please drop a like on today's video. Comment below your thoughts on the game, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. So... 1-0 away from home. I don't care about how performances come about. I don't care. Right now, Luton, we need to just win games of football. We need to win ugly. Today was an ugly win. First half, I thought we were brilliant. I thought we were outstanding. Second half, yeah, it was a little bit different. But I honestly do not care how, how we get our wins at the moment. We need to just start winning games of football. This football club has had... A lot of defeats in the last year. We need to get back to winning ways, back to winning, finding how to win, winning ugly. And yeah, the performances will come once we start installing this winning mentality into the football club. I'm not worried about that. It will come eventually. But even then, first half, I thought we played well. When I saw the team line up appear, I was like, wow, okay, this is interesting. Because I didn't know how we were going to go about things. But it proved that Amari Bell doesn't always have to be a centre-half. Alfie can go right wing back. And I thought we had a great game at right wing back. I thought Bell had a great game at left wing back. And we're going to have a back three of Menji, McGuinness and also Burke. You've got to realise now, we've got proper centre-halves now who are fit and available. So we might as well use them. Walters wasn't in the team today. I think it, that was because he, he, felt, he felt ill this week. And there was no Baptiste. I don't think this game suited a Baptiste type of player. Baptiste is very creative. Not the most physical midfielder going. But I thought Nakamba was outstanding today. Especially in the first half. And I thought Walsh was brilliant as well. He could be a really good signing on a free transfer. If he can just keep himself fit. And he looked really good today. He looked the part. And his passing was brilliant at, at times. I thought Burke was brilliant as a centre-half. But the first half itself, I thought we started, started extremely well. I thought we were on the front foot. We were aggressive in our press. Um, Elijah was on his own up top, trying his best. He has to do a little bit better at times in holding the ball up, in linking the play. But that will come eventually. But we were creating opportunities. I still think we were at times trying to do that extra pass when we don't need to. Maybe that little bit of confidence um, in front of goal needed to happen today. But when we got that goal, it was brilliant. We got in, the, it got in behind and it just needed someone on the edge of the box just to hit it. And Menji, the centre half, out of all players, you don't really expect to do that. He was the one to do it and it was a fantastic finesse. You know, keeper didn't even move and we're 1-0 up. We could have got two or three in the first half, if I'm being honest with you. Clark could have scored a goal, I felt, today. He half hit chance. Chong hit the post. We looked dangerous from set pieces. We looked really good as a defensive unit as well. And I thought we were doing a really good job in the first half. And I thought if we can come out in the second half and repeat the first or, you know, go a little bit better... We're 100% win a game of football. We'll win it 2 3 0 up. In fact, we could have gone in at half time 2 or 3 0 up. However, that's when Mill started to you know, pile on the pressure themselves, as expected, because they are the home team. They're going to want to go at us. And I felt the only way they were going to get opportunities is through Luton making mistakes. And that's how they did get their opportunities. Their two best chances in the game come from Luton making mistakes. Pelly. He's kidding it. He really is kidding it himself in a Luton shirt. Not in a good way. In a bad way in that he's not taking his opportunities well. He's not going to get many this year. And to come on with that, it was a poor pass. I'm, I'm a massive Petty fan. I am. I do love him. I think what he's done for the football club is amazing. And I, and I know people are just going to come out and hate on him. Because I, I feel like they just hate on him for the sake of it. Okay, yeah, it was justified with the pass. Players make bad passes, but he didn't do himself any favours there. And they went clean through. And Thomas Kaminsky, he made a great save. He Honestly, it was a great one-on-one -on -one save. Helped him out. But people won't mention the fact that Menji, five minutes later, also made a bad back pass. Well, he didn't clear the ball properly. 
and Mirwell broke from that, got a corner and nearly scored right at the end. That all came from Menji just being playing about at the back. In fact, there was plenty of times today where we just were part, we were allowing Mirwell, I guess, pressure, allowing them to pressure us a little bit because we were just wasting time with the ball. We were playing out from the back when we didn't need to play out from the back. We could have gone long. The thing is with me, with this playing out from the back stuff, I don't mind us doing it. I've got no problems with it if we do it successfully. If we're going to prat about with it and lose the ball a few times and it's going to cost us goals, or rather we just don't. We need to find the right balance in going long and also playing out from the back. There's a time and a place to do it. Also, our goalkeeper needs to know when to not do it and when to go long. If he goes long, there's a 50-50 chance we win the ball, especially if he gives it to Elijah. 50-50 chance. And if we don't win the ball, we need to win the second ball. If we don't win the second, you win the third. You win your battles in midfield. And we were winning some of our battles in midfield, especially in the first half. In the second half, we won. That's why Morris came on for Elijah. I feel like some. I've seen a few comments and I feel like people are being a little bit too harsh on player performances. The player performances will come when we start winning games of football. There were a really good player performances in the defensive areas. Burke, outstanding. McGuinness was very good. Menji nearly got himself sent off. He's lucky that a ref, the referee wasn't, you know, he was all right with him. Um, I did think his first yellow was a little bit harsh. I don't think he, it, he wasn't really kicking the ball away. Let's be honest, it went two yards away. But his second challenge was a yellow card, so it kind of evened itself out a little bit. Doughty was good. Bell was good. And then Walsh and Nakamba were also good in the midfield. I thought first half, great. Second half, not so good. But yeah, look, I don't really care. We got the three points. I'm happy. We won ugly. And I felt we deserved something from the game. I felt we deserved the three points based on how we performed in the first half. And yeah, Ormond and upwards against Sheffield Wednesday next week. And hopefully we can repeat it. But yeah, those are my overall thoughts. Let me know your overall thoughts down in the comment section. And yeah, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video when I talk a little bit more in depth about the game. And pick out five things which I believe we learned from it. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.